grand final, the first grand final, the under 18 grand final between Eagleville St Andrews and East Campbelltown Eagles. The two teams for this grand final, the East Campbelltown Eagles side, number five, Bryce Wall, number three, Will Craig, number two, Oswald Lenny, number 13, Tim Bailey, number 15, Isaiah Lohani, number nine, Taylor Kinsilva, number eight, Rob Kikuru, number 11, Jeremiah Lingaga, 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
The conversion unsuccessful. This score remains Eagle Wales and Andrews 4 East Campbelltown Eagles left to score. Wally West Group from Harbour and Trophy Bar.
You simply WordPress web design scoreboard says Eagleville St Andrews 16 East Campbelltown nil. As we Simply WordPress web designs this the East Cameltown Eagles 4, Eagle Vales, St Andrews Magpies 16, and create exactly what they needed. They did. There was a good kick. The fullback jumped up over the top of the pack to try to get it, missed it.
They're gonna, he's going to be there for the, the kickoff set. Just a question, Craig. Is this a trip? Is a trip? He's going back to the bench. Yes. Just a question. Is it eight or ten interchanges? Scoreboard on the Simply WordPress web design to his 16 points to four. The Eagle Rail St Andrews Magpies lead. That's going to be a the game. He was gone for a couple of minutes. He was getting attention. Why is that even happening to him? And he's gone back behind the, he's on the dead ball line now. Never going to take the hit up. I'm sorry to say this, but that's a lack of duty of care. But <laughs> show us what I know about these things about these these days with four minutes left to go. On the case, they want solar clock. Yeah, it's independent of the white shame of having it. I think we all have to be honest. I think so too. It did not look too good. I mean, that was like a. Oh dear. They see Kit, Kit Latui 30 metres out from his own line. I can never explain to him what the is made. Play of welfare is just number one there in anybody's book. So the Eagles now will go towards the broadcast side, back to the center of the ground here is Sakuru, and Sakuru will get up and play it. Will get up and play the ball, though, acting half here is the Sil. Thar puts a, a low dribbling kick that lands in the 10, picked up there from Luke, sorry, from Taj Colhoun, who gets up, plays it 22 away from his own try line, and see the East Campbellton Eagles, sorry, the, um, Magpies just slowly getting back to their attacking line here at the moment. Three minutes left to go here on the on the case statewide solar clock in his first half. And he gets picked up and driven to the turf. There as we see there. There out of acting half is Kepi. Sorry, that was Pinkhart, sorry. And they'll go back and loses the ball. These Campbelltown Eagles, are, well, they've got a chance here to put more points on the board here. Looking for the penalty there. They're not going to get it. Here's Villarosa. Here's the big bopper there in Christian Lelani. Well, I'll say this, Astri in the commentary box will be saying he should be not, he should not be on the field, but he wins his side of penalty. And they take, well. I try to take a quick tap, but the referee said, no, get back on the mark. I never understand with the quick taps. They're not quick then. What's the point of taking the tap if it's not a quick tap, man? Well, there's certain penalties that you can take quick taps from, and there's other penalties that you can't. Oh, so, no, okay. But I think in this competition, that there's no quick penalty, no quick play of the ball. It's the same thing with the down 20 metres. As they go through straight from the side of the ball, Brian and William Craig, he makes it, he makes it over the line. Well, he makes it easy for the conversion kick. Well... Web designs and on the clock on the case statewide solar, it's 90 seconds left to go. And here's the expert comments here with Craig on the F2 Sportsman. I mean, Well, to describe the first 30 minutes in this game, and it's really weird to say, it's been a tale of two halves in this 30 minutes for both these sides. It has, yeah. Well, probably not two halves, I'd say, but um, the Red Boys, 20 minutes, first 20, yeah, sure. and the Eagles, the last 10. Not going to argue that. I totally it's close, you know, close enough to two halves, but yeah, 2010, it's just, these guys, the Eagles, um, come home with a wet sail in the second part of the first half. Well, we could also say they've had a lot of ball in the last 10 minutes to convert those chances and... Yeah, they've had more possession. Possession's evening up now. Mm -hmm. It's starting to get even possession. So here's the conversion kick, and he slots it over. And it's 16 oh. points to 10, and... and I don't Eagle Vale St. Andrews Magpies 16, East Campbelltown Eagles 10.
Need signage for your business? Then the yeah, only yeah, place to go is Styles Signs in Campbelltown. Styles Signs can cater to any signage yeah, needs yeah, from yeah, exhibitions yeah, and events yeah, to shop fronts oh, and business oh, signage. Yeah. Call the team at Styles Signs for more information on 0488 0488 or to discuss a new look for your business. Head online or check out their social media for more or to speak with Luke.
is there also silver and bronze? There is a couple of underrated competitions. I'm not sure if they're silver or bronze, but I do know there is. <laughs> I don't, what, this is the weirdest thing in rugby league, and Craig, you, you've probably seen more than I have. That is so underutilised, it's not even funny. They only, they only tend to use it when it's close, when the teams are too close to each other, or you're behind with minutes to go, and you've got to, you've got to get an advantage. They don't, as I said, it's only utilised. We saw it there. Mm. Eagles were, the Eagle Vine were not expecting the 10 minutes. They weren't ready. The winger from the Maggies got through, got the ball. It was gone. It was only the good luck more than um, good management that um, got, the, got him stopped with the try line. Taz, Taj Colquhoun missed a penalty, I mean, his conversion kick, and the scoreboard still remains 20 points to 10 on the Simply WordPress web design and with on the K statewide. Solid clock, 27.45 left to go here in this game here this morning. I was about to say this afternoon. Oh, it is afternoon in New Zealand. That is correct. Of course, there is a V8 supercars race there, and then they've gone. But oh, no, it's gone. Oh, he's really spotted a knock on there, the referee. Yeah, he has. He's calling an Eagles knock on. It's gone through. Mm. Go to the Magpies. So they do have it 12 metres away from the halfway line with this loose centered feed. Booker just trying to, well, of course, one of these pet peeves of mine in rugby league. As, well, as a, oh, there is a silver division in the 18s. As the did, oh, geez. Yeah, it was played yesterday. Did I see a penalty in the scrum for scrum differential? I mean, yes, there is a scrum. It was a scrum penalty. I don't know what it was for. It's definitely I, a scrum can't, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> that will do me. A scrum penalty in the other. Well, seeing if this would have been the NRL, it would have been six again. Six again, yes. So they wouldn't have pulled up the penalty. Let's play six again because there's no six again. The referee plays a whistle, but incorrect food, pushing in the scrum. Mm -hmm. That happens every weekend. And what, every scrum. Every scrum, and yet it's not called. Incredibly. So we, here we are now. 26 left, 26 minutes left to go in this game on the statewide solar clock. It, the Magpies will have the ball. I think that uh, I think the Eagles are looking for the obstruction call. They're not going to get it. They'll get up and play it there with Brinkat. They go towards the broadcast side of the ground and they'll play the ball there 22 metres out from their own try line. There from uh, Chong. So they go... Well, the pass there from Lavati went to absolutely no one and I think picking it up there was the halfback there in Gill. So he can't be able to kick the ball. And the, the second time the ball out of acting half has been absolutely terrible. So the old Taj Colon just hoiks it up in the air. Bouncing, bouncing. Oh, oh, that is just... Well, I was about to say, well, they're probably still in there. But that's just schoolboy yellow stuff there from East Campbelltown that, Eagles. That set was the worst set of six that um, Eagle Vale have played all day.
control of either catching it or knocking it backwards. But if you just watch it bounce, it could go anywhere. So Taj Colhoun with this kick from directly in front of the right upright should pop this over, and he does. And on the simply WordPress web. I put a short one in. Try to catch him off guard. Here we go. And they go long here. Yeah, they go long again. And to Silva with the kick. Goes backwards. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, at, least at least it got a result. It got a result, yes. So, no. Well, it didn't make an... I don't, I don't want to consider that an error in the field of play. It was just error just not reading the ball here as they go for a... Restart. I don't think any of the players were ready for this restart here. That's just, again, just... And I think the player mishit it. By the looks of that kick, I don't think he meant to kick it like that. I think he mishit it. He probably got, like, the bottom end of the ball yeah. there. And East Campbelltown, well, a chance to... um to get some points on the board in this second half. They're trailing by 16 points with 20, 23 left to go in the case statewide solar clock. So East Campbelltown trying to... Make a way through the tenor. Yeah, you know, we'll get up and play the ball in Kit, Kit Lalui. Go towards the middle of the ground and it's a try. Straight through. Barrels through. It's a try for East Campbelltown Eagles and it's 26 points to 14. That looked a bit too easy. Just a straightforward hit up from the dummy half straight over. There's been a couple of soft, a couple of soft tries. It'd be fair to say, Craig, has been non-existent here to this morning. Yeah, it appears to be that way. As we see De Silva in front of left upright has a chance to pop this over, and he does. And it is 26 points to 16 here at Campbelltown. East Campbelltown Eagles, number 10, Marseille Tafui. So it was Marseille Tafui, it was the try story for East Campbelltown Eagles. Eagle Hall Andrews, 26, East Campbelltown Eagles, 16. Just watching this. Do you know what this game sort of reminds me of? Well, in, in this short race, or sort of a screen race. I didn't collide with his own player there. Beautifully taken there from Sosofo Fino. It's like you score a try, and next thing, you score a try. It's been yeah, a good try for try. <laughs> try. That's what this game has been thus far here this morning. As we see East Campbelltown trying to trying to reply here. So we'll get up and play the ball. There in the silver. And they go straight through the middle of the ground. I think a penalty here. Offside. And they are 43 meters 43 meters out. So they probably just would take the quick tap. Well, they'll take the tap and go here. And here's Mercy. Tavuti and Tavuti is 30 away from the try line. 20 minutes left to go for these Campbelltown Eagles, still trailing by 10, but plenty of time left to go on the scoreboard. Here's Sakuru. They've got a lot of running now, haven't they? The Eagles seem to have um, lifted from that last try. Now to Lalui. Lalui now gives it off there to Tavui, and here Tavui will play 12 away from the try line. Acting hard. Here is De Silva, and De Silva go himself here. Yeah, Held up, quick play of the ball, picked up there in the lock forward to Keith Lanui. Five and last, he's a metre away from the trial line. Here is now De Silva. Well, 
play the ball slow. They give it off there to the 5 8 in. Falogo puts in a Grober in kick. He's in the in goal there. Calhoun, can he get out? Oh, he passes off. Oh, I thought that pass would maybe look me a spin forward, but the referee says that's okay here. And now for now, Chong. Get the ball. Oh, oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, dear. They were defending well there and um, <laughs> got the ball and just dropped it. Dead set of coach killer there. And Craig, that pre the last try score there for Eagle Vale St. Andrews, where we saw the try that was bouncing in goal there, was scored by Elijah Baker Manu. So that was the try scorer there. As the one of the referees finds there, and Mike Sheen brings us the food. Thank you, Mike. Great to be in the coach box with you this morning. All those horrible things we said about him, they're true. <laughs> 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 chance to call the lead even closer. Here they go now. They've got numbers brewing on the other side of the grandstand. Chance, here's a chance they've got 11 on Jamaya Leogaka, who is over. And on the, with 18 and a half left to go here, it is 26 points to 20 here on the case. Statewide solar clock and that scoreboard. Six points both these po 46 points of both these teams have combined here this morning. Of course, good afternoon for, for listeners in New Zealand. to the fullback and Lake Louis and Lake Louis is 40 meters out. We'll slowly get up and play the ball here to the silver and the silver will give it off there to Lady Gaga and Lady Gaga is right on halfway. Looks like the Eagles coming home with a wet sail and the Magpies defense is starting to drop off a bit. As the ball will just dribble, dribble. Dead. Yeah, it just went dead. Uh, can I confirm it's a 7.20 set? Yeah, they do, do seven tackles. Seven tackles, thank you very much, fellas. As it is Taj Colhoun. Penalty offside. A oh, high tackle. Oh, dear, dear. You, you can see the 7.20 set and now a penalty. Fine in touch. Oh, dear, it's just... Well, let's hope they find touch. Oh, yes, yes. We've already had one, we've already had one miss today. <laughs> Oh, that one's gone over. It's landed. Oh, it's <laughs> Almost took out the spectator. Silly took out the spectator. Of course, this is one of the famous grounds where you hear one of the crowds saying, Lolly Lakes to a Newcastle Knights player here. Jeez, I forgot what year that was. I can't remember what I was here that day. <laughs> that was definitely on the fan. Lolly Legs. As we get up and play the ball, he's now bring Cat here for the Eagles. Gives all his lock forward there in Clark. And Clark and oh, I thought he was going to be play the ball. Oh, there you go. I thought it was a bit soft. <laughs> I wonder why. Thank you, Mike. As they go right to the grandstand side, here's the winger there in Papali'i, and Papali'i is 15 away from the try line. And they'll get up and play the ball here. Here is now Hernandez, 
and Hernandez will get up, he'll get up and get up, and he's a couple of metres away from there, from the try line. Get up and play it, there they go, towards the lock, forward there in Clark, and gets it down. Oh. We're not talking about four words, that wasn't soft, that was E-A-S. Besides, know that defence is a dirty word here. Yeah, defence doesn't seem to be a priority, does it? No, as we see Taj Colhoun directly running the right up right post. Again, he could do this point forward. And put the blockers on him. But he told the bloke in the commentary box to shut up, and he gets the other two, gets the two points on the simple. Both these teams. No, scored. the way both sides have been scoring tries, 10, 10 minutes could be another 20 points scored. Oh, absolutely. And we've got the size of this team, 54 points. We've, we've got virtually a point a minute on the run rate at the moment. So this could be easy. As we see, King Cat straight for a penalty. Offside, I think. No. Mark is not square. Mark is not square. As Colhoun will find touch. Five metres into Eagles territory. So Smith. Oh, he gets picked up and driven into the turf. He lost the ball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Is this what the Eagles needed? Trailing by 10 on the uh, simple wood press web design. And on the statewide side of the clock, 12 minutes left to go here. And they're in good field position here, Craig, the Eagles. Yeah, I think the Manfires are getting up saying that was, I mean, the player was put in a dangerous position. He was lifted off the ground and was tackled dangerously. As we swap the headsets, seems to be looking a lot better here. As they go here, the Eagles, straight through. They go towards the centre of the ground here. This is the 13 for the Eagles in Lalui. Lost ball. Oh, my goodness. From tries and tries to now. Boy, oh, boy, it's been... I was about to say schoolboy errors, but I presume most of these guys are still in school. <laughs> I mean, fair income, it's... The last few minutes of this game here, Craig, ball security has been pretty average. Absolutely average. It's, it's deteriorating, isn't it? They haven't taken um, ownership of the football. So here's the loose headed feed here. It'd have to be slowly creeping in. You just think that with the weight of this 10 point lead, you'd think that the Eagle of uh, St. Andrews with a chance here. Here's the center of the great quarter here in McMullen. And McMullen will get up and play it. 30 away from the try line. So short passes. They're going back to the center on the ground here. The center three quarter there. And number four there in Robert. You are tough, eh? Whoa. Penalty. I was about to say, should they go for two? But I think they just want to keep on the pressure here on the Eagles defense. So here is now Tiwi Muga here for the Eagles. They go towards 
the grandstand side of the ground. Here's the 20 there in Hernandez. Oh, jeez. This is... It's... Oh, dear. It's, there's still a bit of life here. I know it's nine minutes left to go in the case statewide solo clock, of course, on the scoreboard on the Simply WordPress web design. It's 32 points to 22 with 9, 10 left to go. Heaps of time as the Eagles spread it wide. And they will play 20 metres out from their own line. They go short side again there from William Craig. Didn't make, well, didn't make any, many, any metres. They are two up, 15 away from halfway. They go straight through. Straight, and he's pumping the legs through. Holds onto the ball very well. He'll get up and play it two metres over the halfway line. Here's the kick here from Fire Logo. It's between either there, but bouncing between the fullback and the winger, and the fullback there, and Colhoun will pick it up. 25 away from his own line. They get there, but the clock is dwindling down. I know it's eight minutes left to go, but you feel like they've got to score a try in the next maybe four or five minutes to give themselves a fighting chance. They need a... <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I think that's what Siri would have said to me as well too last night after eating the kebab ball too. Here is Clark. <laughs> the fifth and line. I love that. That was a classic. An absolute classic. And Clark will slowly... It's random. It does it on my phone. It's random. It's that um, Bixby on the Samsung. And you're sitting there. I'm at work chatting away to somebody at work. <laughs> And seriously, I have just turned my phone off. The phone was put into off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, she just told me she was unable to do it. I don't know what it was she was unable to do, but whatever it was, she can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, there's never a dull moment in the commentary box. <laughs> What's the Samsung version of Siri? Um, Bixby. Bixby. And we, so we do have a fourth member in the country box. It's Bixby, Mike. I have no idea we have a fourth member. Incredible. Back live we go here, here at Camel Down Sports Ground. And it goes dribbling to the in goal line. Do they get the goal line restart? Yes, they do. So, Paul Dwindling down here for the East Camel Town Eagles. Still trailing by 10 on the Simply WordPress web design. And on the clock, watch. Oh, do we got to look? They've calmed it down. They say, don't touch my school bag. I have the school bag. It's got my textbooks. Oh, do they still have textbooks? Or is it tablets? Or oh, so-so. Thank you, Mike. Bit of each. Bit of each. Yeah, I know. Back, of course, we're back in our day. It's like three, four hundred pages worth of textbooks in the backpack. Oh. Back in Mike's day, they used rocks and chisels. <laughs> rocks and chisels. <laughs> Oh, I mean, seriously, now they've got tablets. They've got, my goodness, calculators working as phones. I think phones have also got the scientific calculator now as well, too. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, why buy a calculator? I just claim the, I just claim like the iPhone or the Samsung has. <laughs> hey, you can use that to say, you can claim that schoolwork. That's what I would do. Of course, giving out advice to children. To everybody, it's good to know. Here's Jerry Papali here. 6.40 left to go on the K Statewide solo clock. He makes a great one. He's 30 metres away from the try line. Quick and out of acting half here is Brinkat. Brinkat gets up, but he slips. He's inside the red zone now. He'll get up and play. Al Chong gives it off here to Clark. Clark, who scored a try here this morning. And Brinkat out, out of acting half. Brinkat! Has he got it down? The players are celebrating. Referee. Referee, Referee says held up. No worries, boys. He's still got a few more tackles left to go. Six minutes left to go on the K-State wide solo clock. Yeah, Referee Shane said held up. 
And we do have clarification from Shane, who looks like he's... <laughs> gives us the thumbs up. He's Clark, gives it off here to Al Chong. Al Chong puts the... Ah! with the kick, and it looks like another goal line drop out here from East Campbelltown. Yes, they do get it. You sense that, if it, how do you call it, the sense just to put a bit of ice in on this game here this morning. It's almost gone away from, uh, yeah, because they've got to do a short drop here and get it back. They do go short. They don't, ooh, that could, that, ooh. Players asking for the high tackle, I thought that was fine. So Clark will get it, he'll get up and play the ball. He pumps those legs, gets a few post-contact metres. He's in. He goes now, here he's now, here he's. There it's Hawamuga, gets it down. Ball game, cake, bake, icing on top. And on the case, on the case, Statewide solid clock, 4.40 left to go, and the scoreboard brought you by Simply WordPress Design. It is 36 points to 22, and the Eagle St. Andrews will fly over the Eagles here this morning. Here. If they don't get that try, they'll just go, you know, what the force is. And Colhoun gets the conversion kick. And it is 38 points to 22 on the Simply WordPress web design. And on the case statewide solar clock, we've got 4.20 left to go here. Hasn't been a lot of brouhaha, there have been a lot of handbags, but it's been, it's been a solid game as the ball, well, falls off the kicking tee. Oh, it falls off again. It's sort of, it's sort of indicated what it's been like for the Eagles in the second half, isn't it? Yep, it's just, it, it, it just hasn't been their half where they just scored the two tries for the heart. You thought they would get that wave of momentum. But here they go now. Here he goes with the magpies just trying to dance around the defence. Twenty-six minutes and a bit too late, as they say. He's been a second phase play. Clark hands it off here to Tawamuga. Tawamuga still going. He'll quickly get up. And they're playing the ball here is Villa Rosa. So they go towards the grandstand side and puts in a kick through in Gill. And then puts up a kick there. And Craig will get up get up and play it. And they're pinged in their own territory here with three minutes left to go on the case statewide solar clock. As they'll get up and play the ball here. And it's pretty much been all dominant in the second half. Here and, um, of course, Leo Clark, the coach of the Magpies, will be cheering his side on in two and a half minutes left to go as we see the fifth and last here for the East Campbelltown Eagles. They go towards the grandstand side. They got to play a little last here. Lady Little puts up on a chip and a chase. Oh, I think that's out from these. I thought that was out. I, I was, that was. So that's why he wants the worst referee. 
<laughs> he's put his flag up and the touch, he was right on top of it. <laughs> I think Mike's blowing. He's... Um, I'm still bizarre. I'm, I'm gobbersmacked, but likely it's not a close game at the moment. It's, the Magpies are leading by 16 with two minutes left to go on the clock. And here's Hernandez, the 20, pumping his legs over the halfway line. And there's, he'll play it five metres into the halfway line. He'll keep him get up. I don't see the point of arguing when you're 16 points up. Totally agree. You don't want anyone as weird as you just don't want anybody hurt. Oh, no. lucky the ball went backwards. It's picked up here from William Craig, the centre three quarter. He'll play 10 metres out from his own line. So, this is probably where the clock will dry out. 70 seconds left to go. The Eagles trying to go out wide here with Leia Tua. It's just been. The opportunity has been very limited here for the Eagles at the moment. Nice. Good tackle here from Clark again. I would like to know how the man of the match works because Clark has been in there for me. He's been absolutely everywhere here this morning. For the sizes, as the Eagles try to close this off with five seconds left to go. Four, three, oh, he's off to the ball. Well, that's the way this grand final ends. As the Eagle Vow, St. Andrews Magpies, win this grand final on the Simply WordPress web design scoreboard. 38 points to a 22. And Craig, well, as you said during the call on that second half, they pretty much run off the kicker from the restart. As we see some of the, some of the players, I won't say only haunches, but celebrate a great win here this morning. It's been pretty much Magpies won, they pretty much won it from that second half, it's from the restart, and East Campbelltown Eagles just didn't get a lot of ball. Mm, season, yes. Yeah. <laughs> As I think of the old Looney Tunes get rabbit season. Yeah. And Mike gives it the old heave and ho! Yeehaw! Yippee -yay, yay! He's laughing and goes, JP, what the bloody hell are you doing? Shaking his head, questioning the, the shaking of the head decisions as. We see the magpies here. Are we, we're not taking the... Oh, so-so. As we see the sign up, it says, Go the magpies, go the Eagle Vale St. Andrews magpies here. I do say, I've seen a rugby league banners these days. It's... I've seen... What are you... Which rugby league banners? The, the milestone banners. My goodness, they're shocking. No, it's very PC. We we need signs that need to be politically correct. Uh, I think we've got no, a bit of over 13 minutes to go to the next game. So that was the. Eagle Val St. Andrews Magpies winning this grand final 38 points to 22. And they tell you, gold, gold, always believe in your soul. Of course, the Magpies did win that grand final 38 points to 22. We will take a break and we'll be back shortly.
Okay, our next award goes to the player of the match for our under 18 gold division for 2022. And the player of the match today, from ESA, number 13, Zach Clark.
Can we put our hands together for our Premier to go to the end goal? Here you say, as long as our runners up, each team had a fantastic game. Thank you to West Trip for Carthay Strength Bar. Thank you to Warwick Dodd for the West Tigers. We'll now move on to our Women's Open game between Camden Rams and the Clamper Town Collegians that will kick off at 11.30. Congratulations to both teams.